Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Laura. I make videos every week about motherhood, fitness, home, lifestyle, and everything in between. This video will be all about my newborn essentials. I'm very hectic with a newborn and, well, she's now no longer a newborn. She is what it's like as a first-time mom. If any of you mamas are expecting or you would like some ideas for what to get a friend or family member, for their baby shower then you have some great recommendations and ideas in this video and you can get inspired these are items that i use on a daily basis so yeah i'm so excited to finally be able to sit down in a quiet space to film this video for you guys so if you're interested in learning more about my newborn essentials and must-haves definitely keep on watching i have put together a list of all of the essentials and must-haves and divided them into different categories. I'll list those categories right here. I will go through each one of them. There are several items within those categories and I'll be sure to link each and every one of these items below in the description box. So definitely check that. Give you guys a little bit of background in case you just found my channel. I was pregnant for most of last year. I don't know where these last few months have gone. This motherhood journey has really taught me that it's all about trial and error. You have to try things out, see what works for you. And again, every baby's different. So even if you watch this video and you learn about these products and maybe you do get one of these products and you try it out and it doesn't work for you, that's fine. You have to experiment and see what works and what sticks. If you're interested in learning more about my newborn must-haves, definitely keep on watching. The first item in this category is the Dr. Brown baby bottles. That whole line is just truly amazing. When I was pregnant, I signed up for a few registries here and there and some of them would send you a free sample box of like baby items. I had received three sample boxes from these baby registries and I think it was one from Babies R Us, the other one from Walmart, and there was one more that I'm forgetting right now. But one of the boxes came the Dr. Brown baby bottles. They have this anti-colic system. They have been clinically proven to reduce colic in babies and they're really good for babies who suffer from acid reflux or spitting out a lot, who's crying and experiencing a lot of discomfort from colic. It helps to reduce feeding problems. They're known for reducing colic, spit up, burping, and gas. And they're proven to help preserve bottled milk nutrients, like controls the flow so that babies feed at their own pace. So what I like about these bottles is that you can buy the bottles and they you can get the nipple depending on the flow level that you're looking for. But before starting to use the Dr. Brown bottle, we started with the event flow. And I just want to mention this one in this video because this was another really good one that Selma took two very easily and she was able to control the flow and it was just perfect for she was a newborn. So a month in, and we switched to the Dr. Brown's anti-colic bottles because we wanted to minimize her discomfort and now we only had one bottle so what we did was we looked for a set. I'll add a clip here and I'll show you guys the set that we got and you can get that at uh, Walmart or you can also, I have seen it on Amazon. The next item is the Event glass bottles. They have plastic ones too but we decided to buy the glass ones so that we can warm up her milk, either formula or breast milk and we really like these. So I would say get a set of Event glass bottles. It's just really useful for when you have to warm up your formula or breast milk. The other two important items when it comes to feeding that I would recommend on getting is a baby detergent and also a bottle brush for washing your all of your baby bottles and uh, pacifiers as well. One that I have used from the beginning has been the Baby Gunnix dish and bottle soap that is fragrance free. It's made with natural ingredients. The next item on the list is the Avent Sterilizer. And I can even begin to tell you how necessary this item is. You have to make sure that, that you wash the bottle. So that's what the bottle brush and the Baby Gannick soap is for. And then you have to sterilize 
all of the baby bottles before you use them to feed again things that i like about the avent sterilizer is that it's very user friendly it's very easy to use it sterilizes really really quickly i think it takes about six minutes to sterilize about five six bottles and all of the nipples and all of the uh, bottle inserts as well so definitely ask for it in your registry if you are expecting because it's one of those items that you are going to be using constantly so definitely make sure you have it on your list the other important item that you do need to get is the bottle drying rack got it off of amazon it's a dishwasher top rack safe so you can put it in the dishwasher every few days and you can get it sterilized and cleaned and you can use it every single day to dry all of the baby bottles so you're going to wash the baby bottles you're going to use the avent sterilizer to sterilize the bottles and then you need to dry them off okay next you do need to get a lot of bibs and burp cloths that's something that you are going to be using constantly so definitely get a lot of those i recommend getting them in a pack i'll link a few options for you guys below i bought a set of bibs recently that are very very thick and very good quality so i'll link those for you guys below the next item i would recommend you getting is the avent bottle warmer and we didn't purchase this at first and we didn't get it as a gift at our baby shower so we were like oh we're gonna be fine we're just gonna boil water or whatever you need to do but it was just such a hassle so we decided to get the Avent bottle warmer and it's just such a lifesaver it literally takes a second for it to warm up the other item that we used a lot at the beginning i would say so more within the first month bobby nursing pillow especially if you're nursing it really helps you get in a comfortable position when you're breastfeeding but i wanted to include it here because i did use it a lot at the beginning you can also grab a couple pillows and put them under your baby and it'll do the same job i got the one that had the removable cover with the leaves in very neutral beautiful color and we'll be using it a lot for when Salma is, starts sitting up and needs a little bit of support and it's also used for a tummy time I had to go to the grocery store and now that I'm back I will continue so let me just check and see where we left off first item in this category is the changing lounger or pad we definitely wanted a changing pad to go over the dresser that we were getting for Salma's nursery we knew that we wanted the hemness dresser from ikea to serve as her changing area so we really liked the skip hop changing pad we checked a lot of brands out and this one was the one that checked off all of our boxes it was minimalistic it offered a minimalistic design it came in a neutral color we liked the material of it and that it's easy to clean easy to wipe down also comes with security belt so that you can keep baby secure you never never walk away while changing your baby you never leave your baby on the changing pad but it's it's just good to know that you have that extra layer of security if you do decide to use it next item in this category are diapers you may be saying well of course laura diapers are a necessity when it comes to taking care of a newborn <laughs> And yes, it is, but I wanted to talk about these diapers specifically, and I have a new box here. <laughs> to show you guys. So this is the brand of diapers that we get, Selma. And these we love so, so, so much. And I'll tell you guys why. Because we give her diaper rash. She hasn't had any allergic reaction to it. And so I wanted to really talk about this for a little bit and let you guys know about the this brand of diapers in case you guys are wondering which brand of diapers to go with. And when Selma was born, we started using, I think it was the Pampers brand or the Huggies. She was sensitive to them. And so we decided to change to this brand. They are made without fragrance, lotion, natural rubber, or latex. So if your baby has sensitive skin, this would be a great, great brand to look into. They are sold at Costco. That's where we get them. I'm not sure if they sell them elsewhere. The next two items on my list of newborn must-haves is the natural baby wipes, ultra soft baby wipes. And these are from the brand Kirkland as well. Come with a little tap you can open and you can access them easily. 
And then when you're done, well, they're the most natural baby wipes that I have found. These are also made with plant-based fibers. So it doesn't come with those weird chemicals. The next item is the diaper brush cream called Pseudo Cream. Pseudo Cream, I guess. It's really good. And we've honestly just had this, this small one that we've used this much. I don't know if you can see. I mostly use the larger size one, which is on her changing table. Oh, it's gonna last us for many, 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 many months to come. I have two items left in this category. The Ubi or Ubi, I'm not sure how it's pronounced, diaper pail. I can't even tell you guys how much I love this diaper pail. It's just so easy to use, so easy to clean. It's made out of powder coated steel, which is not gonna absorb any of the smells. Sometimes the diaper pails are made with plastic and that can absorb a lot of the weird smells coming from the soiled diapers. Just use any old regular garbage bag. You're not paying for garbage bags that are overpriced and you can use that money for more important things. An all around great uh, diaper pill and I really recommend it. The last item in this category is a diaper caddy. It's one of those things that I added to my baby registry, but I wasn't sure if I was gonna get it. I wasn't sure if I was gonna be using it all that much, but I had heard from other moms that they really liked using it, that it was really useful, and it was practical. We have her changing um, a table in her nursery, which is on the second floor, but we have a pack and play on the first floor where she sometimes would lay and play around in and he kept the diaper caddy with some diapers, the baby ointment, and some bibs and washcloths and stuff like that near her pack and play in case we needed to access those things, in case we needed to change her and we were on the first floor, we didn't need to go up to the second floor. We had everything we needed to change her right there and then. And it was accessible but also contained and organized. I liked this one specifically. I'll add a clip of the one that I got because it has so many different compartments. It comes in a neutral color. This one is really practical and you know if you want to keep things organized, especially if you, if you live in a big home or you uh, have a separate changing area. Okay so the next category is playtime and the first one is the skip hop play mat. It has two arches that crisscross and you can hang mobiles from it you can hang little toys from it and it actually comes with several plush toys that you can hang from the arches that it comes with now that she knows how to roll over in both directions it's really hard because she leaves the play mat uh, any chance that she gets is just getting a little smaller for her size. Next item is the pack and play. We really like this because it serves different purposes. Like especially if you get the one with the changing table, you can have it in your living room and you don't have to go upstairs. Like for us, we have her nursery on the second floor. And if she needs to be changed and we are on the first floor, then it's easy. We have a changing table there nearby and we can change her. And there's also space for her to play in. There's not much else I can say about the pack and play other than it's very practical, uh, easy to put together. I would really recommend, especially if you are living in a multiple story home, you can have it in your living room and it's a place where your baby can hang and you know that he or she is going to be safe. I like that you can literally just pack it up and go. You can disassemble it and travel with it. It's the next item is the bouncer. So we use this when um, Salma was a newborn and it comes with different melodies and lullabies. So the next items are the toys that Selma has been playing with. I have gotten her a few different toys that I've found on Amazon and they're high contrast. Almost every single one of these toys have some sort of high contrast. The ones that I really like are the high contrast baby books that I got for her a couple weeks ago. She's been having so much fun with them. I also got her an easel type thing that has six different sides all the way from shapes to patterns to animals and yeah you can turn it every which way 
anything, any toys or books or rattles that have high contrast helps to stimulate baby's visual and cognitive development so it's always good to have a few of these on hand next category is bath time and i have a couple of items on here and i'll go through them quickly the things that we really love and we use every time we get salma a bath and the first one is the bathtub the one that we uh, we're gifted our baby shower, comes with a hammock or a mesh uh, sort of insert for newborns and she has been using that uh, while we give her a bath. You can place the baby in that while they're really small and then they can transition into sitting in that small tub. The next item is her baby soap. So Salma is using the Johnson's baby soap. Every time we give her a bath and we use this baby soap she has the best nighttime sleep she's so relaxed the last thing in this category that i think is so 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 important for you to get is a thermometer we need this because your baby's going to be getting their vaccine shots and most of the time the side effect is fever so you want to make sure that you are monitoring their temperature right after they get their vaccine shots if you are noticing that they're getting a little warm or congested, it's really good to check their temperature. So it's just a staple item to have and something that you will be reaching for very often. So definitely get a thermometer. Nap time. I'm going to go through this very quickly because I don't want to make this a super long video. One of them is the Dream Egg Sound Machine. This sound machine is such a beautiful sound machine i love the design i love all of the sounds that it comes with it comes with such a huge variety of sounds with a few lullaby sounds it's just a really nice sound machine and i would really recommend you looking into a sound machine if you want to improve the quality of your baby's sleep when your baby is in your womb he or she is so used to hearing sounds and it is very hard for them to soothe themselves and they need external help to be able to self-soothe and one of the ways in which you can do that is by playing soothing sounds from a sound machine i really recommend this one because it has so many different sounds you can find one that your baby will enjoy the second item that i think is really important to have when it comes to bedtime or nap time are one piece footed sleepers and try to get the ones with a zipper you don't have to stress with buttons and upset your baby while you're changing their diaper at night and they are probably going to get fuzzy and you just want to make things easier for them so having a sleeper with a zipper is so so easy all you have to do is zip up change diapers zip down and that's it you're good to go next thing that i think is important to get are these swaddle pods or sleep sack them and I like the ones with the velcro she used them a lot for the first three months it helps them feel much more secure as they go to bed and they tend to fall asleep faster I would also say that receiving blankets are really nice to have just because they serve different purposes you can use them swaddling which is what they're meant to be used for but you can also use them for cuddling or burping that's really good to have on hand I definitely have a few and I have used them for many, many different purposes. My next newborn must have is a baby monitor. And if you don't want to get one with the camera, you can just get one with the sound. This is the one that we got and we've been using since the beginning and it works really well for us. We have it in her room and we can actually hear it all the way down to the basement. So it has really nice range. Definitely get a pack of bassinet sheets. I'll definitely add the link to the ones that we got below if you are interested and i'll also add the link to the set of crib sheets that we did get for when she transitioned into sleeping in her crib the last category is baby gear and i have three items in this category the first one being the car seat and stroller set you can buy them separately which is what we ended up doing because we were gifted the stroller at our baby shower which we are so grateful for and then we bought the car seat to go with the stroller from the same brand baby trend we love this brand we feel like it's such a great stroller and car seat combo it's really comfortable it really safe 
when you buy the car seat comes with the basic. I would say that getting a car seat rear view mirror is really important if you want to see your baby. Your baby will be rear facing and if you want to see them when you're driving, it's really good to have a mirror and you can actually see what they're doing. Last important thing to consider getting if you live in a colder climate and your baby is his or her first few months of life and it's going to be winter car seat cover and the one that we got is from Petit Clou it's a Canadian brand that makes car seat covers it's great quality and we just really love it it's really easy to put on and take off it's machine washable I mean it's just all around a great car seat cover and I really recommend it. The last born must have that I will mention is the diaper bag. The famous diaper bag. It's so necessary to have a diaper bag. That's where you'll be putting all the baby essentials that you'll need on the go. And I've actually been thinking of doing what's in my diaper bag video. So if you guys would like to see that video, please comment that below. Let me know if you guys would like to see a what's in my diaper bag video and I will make that for you guys. So yeah, that concludes my newborn essentials, newborn must-haves that you actually need and that you'll actually use. So if you liked this video, definitely hit the like button below, subscribe if you're not yet part of the YouTube family, and definitely go ahead and follow me on Instagram. That's where I post most of my content on a daily basis. That's where I chat with you guys and I share my day-to-day -day life as a first-time mom. I hope that you will join me on there. Let's connect. Let's build this great community of women. Let's support each other. I'm so glad that you made it all the way to the end of this video. If you did, let me know what your favorite newborn must-have is. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.